still would really love to do that by the end of the year, but I'll be honest, it's not looking great. Stopped by Publix on the way home. Uh, it ended up causing me quite a bit of unnecessary stress. Good morning. Hi vlog. Um, happy vlog week, day five. <laughs> we are headed to our morning orange theory. We've got Liv and Julie, <laughs> my girlies. by Publix on the way home. Got a little Alani refill and just some other random groceries. Lots of veggies. What is that? <gasps> Give me that. <gasps> Give me that. You can't tell me he's not the cutest thing you've ever seen. <gasps> Give me that monster. I literally feel bad showing you guys my food because it looks so disgusting when I make it for myself. You put ketchup on chicken breast? Because the potatoes are the bottom. Yeah, I guess I'm not really one to judge. But... Yeah. Okay, so I've got my potatoes and chicken for lunch. Basically what happens is Will cooks a bunch of food for himself and puts it all in the fridge and then I eat it <laughs> as my leftovers. So this is my lunch. It's almost two o'clock and Fridays are always slow, so there's not really much going on around here. We had meetings all morning though. For We're doing a lot of like Q2 planning because Q1 is wrapping up. Or is it Q3? I don't even know what Q we're in. I think we were just in Q1, okay. Um, I think Q2 is- Coming up. up. No. I think everyone's Qs are different. <laughs> Am I wrong? I mean, I guess he has to have a different fiscal calendar, but... Because we're, we just finished our Q1 refreshes. But I'm about to eat this and then maybe, just maybe, take an afternoon nap. I was in a rush yesterday after I got my nails done to get to dinner, so... I didn't have time to get my eyebrows waxed, so I just had to tweeze them. It hurt so bad. I hate that. But I... Just took a shower, clearly. It's a little bit after five, so workday is over. Workday ended up being kind of stressful, honestly, because I'm helping with some data validation for data that I never work with, and it just kept giving me errors, and it was a pain. I kept having to reach out to the girl who needed help, and I hate that, so it was just... It ended up causing me quite a bit of unnecessary stress for our Friday afternoon. I am gonna go over to Julie's tonight and we're gonna have a sleepover, which is so funny. I haven't had a sleepover in so long, but I do love a sleepover. I just feel like when you're an adult, like everyone goes home, like there's no need for sleepovers. But like in Charlotte, I would literally always ask my friends for sleepovers and no one would do them. So I'm excited. We're gonna like go to Publix and get some food and we're gonna cook dinner, probably watch some movies, just kind of hang out. But before I go, I wanna do a few things around the house. I need to run the vacuum, start a load of laundry, just a few little household things. Okay, I, like I just said, I'm about to go and cook with Liv and Julie, but I'm like not even close to hitting my macros for the day. So I'm just gonna drink this protein shake. It's like 30 grams of protein in this bad boy. And I'll probably eat something else, like some yogurt before I go. Mm. This is good. I know, it's insanely good. This tastes like dark chocolate pudding. Mm -hmm. that's, that's been by far my favorite protein flavor about the wine market. I have not had this one. Yeah. This is good. For today's little chat, I'm running out of ideas. So I've got a few other ideas. I feel like I talk about a lot of different stuff just like throughout my vlogs, like here and there I'll just touch on stuff like finances, overconsumption, relationships, like everything. I feel like I always am just randomly throwing stuff at you guys and never 
just sit down to talk about stuff. So that's been kind of fun with this series, but we have three more chats. I think tomorrow I might talk about like my journey through like mental health struggles. That one's hard for me though. It's something I've never really talked about on the internet, but like everyone does struggle with stuff like that. So we'll see, we'll see if I get brave. And then on Sunday, I think I'm gonna talk about maybe, I don't know, relationships. I'm like scared to talk about like anxiety and depression on the internet. Are you anxious to do it? Fuck you. You guys hear that thunder? It is coming down outside. Today, we're gonna just keep it a little bit lighthearted and I thought we could do a 2023 goals check-in. It's good to do this periodically. I did it back in June because it was halfway through the year and we went through our goals and talked about them, but I thought let's give it another look because things do change and I am one who, I don't think your goals have to stay stagnant all year long because like I said, things change, jobs change, money changes, friends change, just like relationships, everything changes and it can change before you know it. Let's go through these goals and see if we need to make any adjustments or maybe we've hit some goals. A few of these I've already checked off. Completing coding boot camp, I got a new job, I got a 20% raise. Pay off private loan. Back in June, I was halfway through paying it off and I've basically made no changes since then and it's been two months. So I'll be honest, I'm not super on track with that goal still would really love to do that by the end of the year but i'll be honest it's not looking great i'm not willing to change it yet because i still am like holding out hope something will happen and maybe i'll be able to pay that off high yield savings to five thousand. i do have that done so we can check that off that's exciting live an 80 20 lifestyle this is another one of those that i can't really check off till the end of the year but honestly i think we're really on track with that maybe even better than that i feel like i do really good during the week and I talk about this a lot in my vlogs recently but just as we've gotten older going out and doing stuff is less appealing <laughs> like I still like to do stuff but not as often so it's a little bit easier to keep like my routines lift weights two to four times a week I'd say I'm definitely on track with that trying to workout class I have tried so many workout classes this year solid core body rock ruckus cycling berries, orange theory. I feel like there's more. I've tried a lot of different classes and I've loved them all. I'm really into my little workout classes right now, as you guys know. Continue to go on walks at least three times a week. Mm, I don't know. It's hard because like I definitely wasn't doing this in March, but the past month I've been going on walks almost every day. So it's like, do I just even it, do I average it out and say, yeah, it's about three times a week. I don't know, let me know what you guys think. Like to me, I think I'm pretty on track with all of the active stuff. We'll say we're, we'll say we're on track. These two are so off track, it hurts. 18,000 on YouTube is just not even close to gonna happen. I'm halfway through the year and I think I've gained, you know, actually we can see how many followers I've gained per subscribers in six months, I'm curious. My growth, as I've said with you guys, is super slow. It's steady, but it's slow. Okay, yeah, I can see for the year of 2023, I've gained 1.1 thousand subscribers and we're eight months into the year. I'm definitely gonna change this goal. That's just not gonna happen. I'm gonna put it to 12,000. I don't, I'm not quite sure if we'll hit that, but I think that's much more realistic. Same with TikTok. It's hard because like I go through waves with TikTok. I'll post like every day, twice a day, and then I won't post for a month. And I know that's not, the best way to grow so we're gonna change this one as well from 10k to 3k youtube videos one time a week at least i'm definitely doing that i'm posting more like two three times a week right now tiktok posts four times a week at least sometimes i go weeks and weeks with posting every day and then i just take time off so i feel like i'm on track instagram posts at least one time a month i'm definitely on track with that but i could take Instagram I think more seriously. Instagram's the one platform that I don't consider myself like influencing on because that's just the platform that like all my friends, all my family, everyone from high school is on and so it's like weird. I don't know, I, I consider it a completely separate entity, entity. I would never like get on and talk to my phone and put it on my Instagram story but I'm well aware that's something I need to get over. Whereas I can literally sit and post a 30 minute vlog every day and not even 
think. I'm sure those people do watch this, but in my mind they don't. In my mind they don't know this exists, but I need to just get over that and take Instagram more seriously. Travel to one new city. I have this checked off. Where did I travel? Oh, we went to Oak Island. I don't think I'd ever been there before. Oh, I went to Fort Lauderdale for Crystal's Bachelorette. We went to Atlanta. Boone. Okay, yeah. I feel like one of those cities I hadn't been to before. Travel out of the country. I addressed this last time I checked in on these goals, but it's like technically we were in the Bahamas on January 1st. So I don't know if that counts, but for now I'm going to leave it checked off or not. I'm going to leave it not checked off because I would still like to go somewhere else this year. But with like the move and stuff, probably not in the cards for us this year. Definitely next year. We have, I have some fun plans next year. Move cities or areas, check. Date night once a month, girls night once a month. Those, definitely on track with those. And then make a new friend, yes. With the move to Tampa, I have made quite a few new friends. I know when I made this goal, I was like, specifically, I would love to be friends with someone who does social media. And that is just everywhere here. And we've met so many people who do it. Like I was like hopeful for one friend and now I have like a bunch who do it. So that's really cool. And yeah, I always love just going in and looking at this and reflecting on it because it makes me just feel good about the year and everything we've done. I feel like day-to-day -day life can just seem so mundane, but you have to go through that and live those mundane days to reach your goals. That's what I wanted to talk about for today's chat. Let me know if you guys have any goals or any suggestions for my goals or anything. I was in the middle of like doing some household chores as you guys know, but my vacuum died, so I had to had to take a break, but it's it's back up, so I think I'm going to pour some baking soda on the floor and <laughs> vacuum. Babe, what? get him. He just wants to watch. This is not good for him. If you're new here and you're wondering what that um, gun is that we always have laying around, because I've noticed it'll be like in the back of some of my clips, and I'm like, if someone doesn't know what that is, they're probably like, what the heck is that thing? It is our automated like water gun to train the cat so it stops him from getting on the counters and stuff and it shoots like over 30 feet so it's helpful when we're sitting on the couch we can just shoot him with it i'm gonna dry my hair i, I like to let it air dry as much as possible but now i need to head out the door soon so i'm gonna go ahead and give it a little dry You know when you don't rinse your hair good enough and you like still feel the product in your hair? That's me. This like whole chunk just feels like it's still full of conditioner. So that sucks because I don't have time. The only thing you can do in that situation is just rewash your hair. I don't have time for that. So we're just gonna have to live with it until I can deal with it or next hair wash day, which either comes first. Next hair wash day is Tuesday and we're going on a boat on Sunday. So like I'll probably need to wash my hair after that anyway Girl problems That's a weird question. This is the gun I was talking about what what are we doing? We're not fishing on it. What are we doing? You just drink and listen to music and the vibe and it's like laying at the pool for four hours But you're not at the pool. You get in the water? You can. We'll dock up at like some islands and stuff basically a giant pool and you're in a floating chair going around the pool. Alright. <laughs> That'll be a fun vlog. <laughs> Babe, you have to, like, I'm going to be nervous to vlog because there's a lot of people there. Julie, Maggie, Julie's sister, Liv, Jared, Liv and Jared's friends, Sav and Jake, Katie and her boyfriend Chase, and Mira. That's a lot of people. There's 12. The book says it fits 13. There was 12 of us and then we hired a captain. Yeah, I'm gonna eat both of them. And I have extra crystals. 
Look how perfect of a size it is. <laughs> I forgot to take a video, but we made pizzas. We all made our own, so here's my little pizza. Okay, we're having a little slumber party, but I'm gonna go ahead and end off vlog week day five here. Might catch a few more clips tonight, but probably not, but you never know. So I hope you guys enjoyed, and I will see you so very soon in my next video. Bye. Bye. <laughs>